Hello everyone. Uh, thought I'd give a little video here updating on my camp property I've been working on. Not much happened over the winter, but a little bit of a little bit of erosion where the fill was put in. I threw some more seed down. I got some coming up. Some coming up here and there. I threw some more down just I think once it warms up it'll take off, but it's starting to come up really nice. A little bit in spots. In spots where it's coming up, it's coming up good, but I put it thick, so once it takes off, it should grow pretty well. I, I added another, I don't know, 100 pounds of seed spread around. We'll see what happens with that. But this is the worst of the erosion here. I got this hill that pretty steep. I just keep putting bigger, big rocks in there and dirt and damming it up. And I'm not. Eventually, I think a lot more fill here and have a gradual slope down to the backyard, make it a little easier. I can drive down there with the truck and everything. But I need some more filled to do that maybe a couple more loads but I threw some more seed on top of that if I don't get to filling it in hopefully that'll take and hold it together a little bit no big deal if it don't because that's going to be leveled off to a gradual slope eventually so it's not a big deal if it gets washed out well, I got a little path down here to the backyard through the trees. Yeah, it's pretty steep, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get some fill in here to kind of make that a gradual slope. It's already kind of washed in here and made a gradual slope started. It'll start to gradual slope for me. Maybe, maybe when I get enough rocks piled up there, I'll just regrade it and it'll be plenty good enough. I might not need any more fill, but no, not really much happening here. We got some buds on the trees, so that'll be. It'll be leafing out soon. I wanna, might cut this back a little bit further. I haven't decided. Creek ain't in a bad height today. The other day it was quite high. It's probably about two, three feet higher than it is today. It's probably only two or three feet in the middle there. There's some deep spots, like four feet. But in, for the most part, it's only a couple, three feet deep in there. This spot here, I cleaned up all the trash, and we've got some nice grass growing here. It seems to be starting to take off. I didn't really do much other than just throw the seed down, so I can't complain about that. Big pile of brush needs to be. Even I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna deal do anything with that or not. Might just leave it there. It holds the bank back. I don't know. Haven't haven't decided. Glass, still some glass in here. I need to keep picking it up. This is all seeded, this whole hill here is seeded. Some of it's already started coming up in a few spots. But once that grows, that'll hold that back nicely. It's, it's not bad, it's 
It hasn't really eroded any all winter with the snow and the rain. Some heavy rains that really didn't do anything. But all that fill up there, that was really put in pretty heavy and filled in pretty deep. So I'm thinking that um, it won't really... Even if it sinks a little bit, it ain't going to hurt nothing. Creeks is clearing up nice. It's really muddy when the rains hit. I need some more fill in this area of you know, right where the camper is. I think once I, once I get a lawn established and... Everything's growing good. I might pull the camper out temporarily, put it somewhere else on the property, and then make myself put some gravel where the camper goes. Give that a nice gravel base where it drains well, sets up a little higher. And I don't have to worry about all the. Any, any like mud or dirt around it, it will be gravel all the way around. Got some grass growing on this bank. You probably can't see that, but there's there's a bunch of little sprouts of grass all along the bank. This is one of the projects. Wish I could have videoed, but I don't really have the tripod or any way to do it. But went through here and raked through all the rocks and the sticks and everything, and pulled out a bunch of trash. Yeah, one trash bag full of garbage. Yeah, a bunch of glass. Uh, part of the car headlight and. Some plastic and pile of metal. I'm not gonna worry about that metal right now. Mostly just remove the trash, get that taken away. Still got all this tin that got buried in the ground that I can't pull up can't even begin to get it out of the ground. I tried just about everything that I can do manually without digging a big hole until I get to the bottom of it, which I don't know how deep that is. And I'm not really and I don't have that much ambition. But yeah, all this along the creek here picked up as much glass and garbage and chunks of metal that I could find. Cleaned that up really nice. Some, there's a pipe and looks like a car door panel over there in the mud. I can't get that out. Eventually, maybe if it dries out, I can get it out of there easier than it being suctioned in the mud really deep. I don't even know how long that pipe is. That could be a full 10 foot piece and I might have to hook onto it and pull it out. Same with this tin. I might have to hook onto it somehow and winch it out of there with a winch or something. I got basically from that tree there where there's some there's some other stuff I can't get out of the mud. It's it was too soft over there to walk in there. There's a board and some like a flower pot or something I can't get. And there's some other wood in there. I can't couldn't quite reach because it's too wet. But I got from that tree there all the way over to this tree here. I got a couple big logs. I'll probably just some maybe a campfire spot somewhere here. I'll just burn them. I 
can set up the campfire spot. Got all this brush I picked up from the property laying around. It's been a, a lot of stuff falls and falls over the winter, and there's a lot of stuff I didn't pick up last year. So I got a pile of that. Got a little bit of more of a pile here I gotta put in there, and when I can burn, I'll probably have it burn there. So. Get it all burn out, burn up, burn ban till almost the end of May. Let me go back to the up and home. Have me pour down tree limbs all over here. I don't have a no shortage of firewood. So, uh, be a mountain boat in some areas here. Uh, here's a level spot here. This is all hill. Leveled it all off nice. Have a nice spot. If I ever had to service the well and pull the truck in here. Eventually, that'll be all even more level than it is. They'll be able to back right up to that and service it. And septic cleanout pipe right there. Or another spot to hook in the camper. If I decide to move the camper over there, maybe when I do the gravel for it. I'll move it over there. I'll have a place to hook it up. Uh, got my water spigot. I was able to fill the camper up when I came over here last week. Still gonna get my conduit in the ground. I have quite a bit of dirt here. I may just, I may just dig a little bit over here get to the back side of the slab here it'll probably it'll be like if I dig along the slab edge under this fill here then I can get over here and just only dig a few inches when I fill that in that'll be almost two feet down and then I won't have to I won't have to dig as much. That way I can bury my power from my water pipe. And eventually I want to have power for the camper over here. So everything's on this side. That way you can, when you back in, you can, it's easier to hook up. Everything's right in one spot. I want to get enough fill in through here. Maybe behind the camper. I'd like to build this up all the same. Eventually, I probably could just pull the camper the other way and I can have it. So I'm looking out at the creek when I go out the door. He's got this view here, which, once I get all the trash cleaned up, it won't be a bad view. Right now it's kind of crappy just looking at the all the trash, cement blocks and stuff. I can once I pick them up and clean it up, it'll be nice to well use them for something, maybe a fire pit or something. But not a bad view from up on the pad where I got it leveled off. Gotta clean up some of the bushes. And 
bunch of thorn bushes there, but they, they're probably going to leave a lot of the stuff that's going on the bank there. Because if that stuff grows and it grows decent size, it'll actually be helpful in holding everything together. Ain't too bad. Pretty quiet here. Car goes by every so often. It isn't really that noisy. Down by the creek, having a campfire ain't bad. When all this hill has a bunch of small trees growing on it, it'll be when they leaf out, it'll be more private. I'm going to let a lot of bushes and small trees grow on the edge of the bank. Yeah, all, all here where the camper is and over where my power pedestal is, I want to... Um, once I get grass growing, I want to move the camper out of the way, set it up on over here, somewhere, one, the, one side or the other, and then put fill in with gravel. I might, we might do some dirt first, because it's kind of high in some spots. I might even, maybe I'll just... I haven't decided though. Get some gravel of some sort and maybe some dirt first and then gravel. Because I can... Property slowly slopes down so it's higher over here. And then that's why the pad was level that was here, the cement pad. But the road, I, was, I had the level, I had the dirt leveled the grade of the road so here is here is like a good 18 inches almost two foot where the dirt is and then on this side of the pad there's maybe eight or ten inches so I might need some dirt first then gravel Well, I guess that's enough, enough yakking about what I'm doing. Let's show you the view over here again. I don't imagine once I get set up and get permanent here, a better lawn growing. I think most of our time will be spent in the backyard that I call, that's the back, I call it the backyard, but it's just a lower portion of the property. I think also, a lot of our time will be spent down there. As I get that cleaned up, it'll be nice. Yeah, I got three trees here that need to come down. They're definitely going to have to be cut down. Looks like something got after them and they're all full of holes and they died some sort of beetle or something. I don't know what got them. Got a part of a dryer or a washer drum. There, I'm going to use that as a fire pit. Bury the ground a little bit. And on days where it might be a little windy and I want to cook on the fire, I can cook on that. Hopefully that'll work. It's stainless steel, so. Yeah, back here you can tell. Definitely need more fill. 
Might need a load of, might need a couple loads of fill before I get some gravel because gravel will be really thick if I put it here. But. Still got some trash here that I gotta pick up. I'm always picking up trash here. I think that'll be a thing for a while. But yeah, maybe more more dirt here. Get it within about four or six inches from being level with the rest of the ground. And then put about six inch, six or eight inches of gravel on top of it. It'll get my camper. It doesn't really get wet under the camper. And it doesn't stay wet or puddle there, but it'd be nice to have it more level. Maybe the gravel underneath my little deck here. I can pick that up and with some pieces of pipe I can roll it across the yard. So if I roll that out of the way and get the camper out of here, maybe that'll be a project for later this year. I don't know if I'll, it may not get done this year, but it doesn't have to. My main concern this year is getting grass growing so it holds this yard together. And I can control erosion. Thank you for watching. This is pretty exciting. To have all this cleaned up. As much as I have in a little over a year. Mostly doing it by hand. The only thing I had the machine to do is the excavation for the power, water, and septic. And getting all the fill leveled off. That was two months for me to do by hand. In a wheelbarrow, I'd have been here all. I'd have been, I'd have been still doing that for years. Oh, close to over 500 yards of fill, so I'd have been here a long time with the wheelbarrow. Thanks for watching. Maybe some ideas on how to get the chunks of tin out of the ground. I don't know. I've been trying and I don't I can't get it out. So I guess maybe a machine when I have the money. That'll be a project for when I have a machine. Maybe when I get a machine in here. To help level the camper pad, then I'll worry about it. Then I'll have somebody here already, and I'll have some dirt leveled off, and I'll have some gravel leveled off, and then I'll have them go down there with a the machine and quick pluck all that out of the ground. That might be a good way of doing it, but... Have a nice day, everyone.